Here we go. I'm going to show you how we set up GarageBand for recording. Let's see if I can do this without having to start over or make any mistakes. First of all, GarageBand. There we go. It's going to probably open some old project. This is not, yeah, this is a project I'm working on. So this is not part of the demo. What you're going to do is you're going to make a new project and it's going to be an empty project. So go ahead and click choose. And then now we have ourselves a project and I assume you're doing a podcast. So you're going to use record using a microphone and I'm just going to leave the rest of it blank and hit create. Now there's a bunch of stuff we can, we've got to do. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do save as, because this is going to be my template. Pod cool master project template and then I'm just going to save this on my desktop there we go now I've got a template now let us set up this template the first thing I want to do is just make sure that I'm recording in 24-bit depth so I'm going to go over to GarageBand preferences and advanced because we're power users oh it looks like I already am but if this is unchecked for you check it all right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on my track. And if, um, if this section isn't already available for you below, then just hit this button. That button makes it appear and disappear. So here is my microphone, and this is what's coming through the track. So um, if this isn't already set up for you, if it's not already hearing your microphone, then you just need to go here and pick your microphone. As you can see, I have a Yeti stereo microphone. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure that your recording is only going to be mono. If you see two circles like this and two things like this, that's stereo. Make sure it's mono. All right, so we're going to do recording in mono. And then the next thing you want to do is um, talk into the microphone a little bit and make sure that your recording level is what you want it to be. So that is this slider here. If I turn it all the way up, then I can start to get some... Yeah, some reds in there, and I don't want that in my recording. So set it sort of at a level where even when you talk pretty loud, it's not going to get into the red. And that is going to be your master recording level for all of the stuff that you do. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think at this point, you're basically ready to go. Um, when it's time to record, you just hit this red button, and it'll start recording you. So, oh. That reminded me that we weren't done. So there's a couple more things we want to do. So let me back this up. Let me actually delete this recording. Um, we are going to turn off the count in and turn off the metronome because we're not playing in a band. Um, so no more counting in, no more metronome. When you're ready to record, you just hit this red button and then you can record and you can say seashells, seashells by the seashore and record and record and record. When you're done, you hit the stop button, and then that's a little recording, and we should be able to play that. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it through in the screencast that I'm doing. If it does, super cool. If it doesn't, um, I'm sorry. Um, we don't wanna save this recording into our master template, so I'm gonna move this back. I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna hit delete. It's gone. Now I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna just go ahead and do save, and I'm going to quit. Now, the very first time that I'm ready to record, I get together with my person who's on the other side of the United States. We're ready to record. I open GarageBand and it should open back up to that master template. Yes, it does. About to. Now, before I do anything, I don't want to record into my master template. I first do save as. And I do episode one. Yay. Um, and that is going to be what I record into now. So now I'm on episode one. Yay. And I can do recording and we can make a cool podcast and have so much fun talking and make a lot of friends who are virtual friends. And that doesn't record over my master template. So when I'm ready to do episode two, yay, then I can open my master template again and save as episode two. Yay. And that's how we do it every single time. And that way our recording settings are 
already what we set them to. Everything is all set up. Our metronome's not on, our countdown's not on. Everything is just the way we like it. And any changes that you decide you want in the future that you always want to keep with you, save them into that master template and they'll be there. That is the end of my screen recording. Thanks for watching.